Chu Ge Liang Memorial on Lausanne Expedition. Read by Prof. Chen. Your subject, Liang says, the late emperor had yet to complete his great mission when he passed away. This is a critical moment now that the empire is divided into three and each province is in dire straits. However, the ministers in the capital are not disheartened and the loyal warriors outside the capital do not fear death. This is because they remember the generous treatment they received from the late emperor and they wish to repay his kindness by serving your majesty's will. Your majesty should welcome their views and opinions and promote the virtues of the late emperor, inspire those with lofty ambitions and should not look down on yourself or make inappropriate remarks that would discourage people from giving good advice. Regardless of whether they serve in the imperial palace or in the imperial chancellor's office, all officials are subjects of the state. Therefore, they should all be treated equally in terms of rewards and punishments. Any person who has committed uh, offenses or has rendered meritorious service to the state should be handed over to the appropriate authority who will make the decision on what punishment or rewards to be given out. This will exemplify your majesty as a wise and a just ruler. Your majesty should not show any form of bias or favoritism, as this will distort the principles of fairness. Palace attendant Go Yu Zi, Fei Yi, and Dong Yun are examples of good and trustworthy ministers. They are loyal and faithful, which was why the late emperor Select them to assist your majesty. I believe that your majesty should discuss all major and minor state affairs with them before implementing any policies because this will help all cover up flaws and achieve greater efficiency. General Xiang Chong is of good character and is versed in military affairs. When he was given responsibilities in the past, the late emperor praised him as a capable person, so everyone nominated him to be the chief controller. I feel that Your Majesty should discuss all military affairs with him as this will lead to greater harmony within the armies and every person will be properly allocated based on his talent. The former Han Dynasty prospered because the rulers favored the virtuous ministers and alienated petty and corrupt officials. The later Han Dynasty declined because of the rulers favored the petty and corrupt officials and annihilated the virtuous ministers. When the late emperor was still living, he would often discuss these topics with me, and he expressed grief and regret when he spoke of Huan and Lin. The police attendants Masters of writing, chief clerks, and army advisors are all loyal and capable subjects who are willing to die for your majesty. I hope that your majesty will be close to them and will place your faith in them.
In this way, the Han Dynasty will be revived very soon. I was of humble origin and used to lead the life of a peasant in Nanyang. In those days, I only hoped to survive in such a chaotic era, and did not aspire to become famous among nobles and aristocrats. The late emperor did not look down on me because of my background. He loved himself and visited me thrice in the thatched cottage. When he consulted me on the affairs of our time, I was very deeply touched. So I promised to do my best for the late emperor. We encountered hard times and setbacks later. I was given heavy responsibilities when we were facing military defeats. I received important duties in dangerous and difficult situations. It has been 21 years since then. The late emperor knew that I was cautious and prudent, so before he passed away, he entrusted me with the duty to complete his great task. Ever since, I received that heavy responsibility I have been feeling uneasy day and night because I fear that I may not accomplish the task well and will tarnish the late emperor's judgment and faith in me. In the fifth month, I crossed the loo and entered the barren and treacherous lands. Now that the rebellions in the south have been uh, pacified, and uh, we have sufficient military resources. It is the uh, time to increase the troops' uh, morale and lead them north to reclaim the central plains. I only hope to use the best of my ability to eliminate our evil enemies, to restore the Han Dynasty, and to return to the old capital. This is my duty, to repay the late emperor's kindness and to display my loyalty to your majesty. The responsibilities of Guo Youzi, Fei Yi, Dong Yun, and others are to assist your majesty in administrating state affairs and to provide good advice. I hope that Your Majesty will task me the missions of limiting the violence and restoring the Han Dynasty. If I fail, Your Majesty should punish me in order to answer to the late Emperor's spirit. If Your Majesty does not receive honest and loyal advice, please punish Go Yuzi, Fei Yi, and Dong Yun for not performing their duties well, so as to highlight their mistakes. Your Majesty should also make plans for yourself, search for the best way to govern the state, and accept good advice. I feel very honored and grateful to be able to pursue the late emperor's final wish. I'm going to leave your majesty soon. Now, as I read this memorial, I was unable to hold back my tears, and I do not know what to see.